After Border Patrol is leading the way when it comes to undocumented immigrant apprehensions in the entire country. I'll take a look at the latest numbers by Customs and Border Protection here. They show Tucson is seeing a 140% increase in apprehensions from the previous fiscal year compared to now. That averages to over 55,000 immigrants apprehended so far. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has more on how the Cochise County Sheriff's Office is taking action to stop human smuggling and making streets safer. Operation Safe Streets is now in its third week of operation, and Highway 90 here has become a major smuggling route for drugs, weapons, and people. It's scary to the point that I, you don't want to drive the highway, but to get to work, you have to. High-speed chases are very common, and that concerns parents like this person who asked not to be identified. I'm actually scared about going out into public sometimes because what well, if there is a high-speed chase and some go sideways, they you know, get to a car accident and they hop on a curb and then they hit anybody. This intersection of Highway 90 and 82 sees its shares of flashing police lights. Jennifer Gray works at the Chevron station and sees it all the time. She doesn't believe Operation Safe Streets 2 is working. There's more and more illegal immigrants all over. I don't think they're doing anything to help us. As part of Operation Safe Streets 2, officers from throughout Arizona have been patrolling the roads to help stem the flow of human smuggling, drugs, and guns. It's a complex issue, but doing nothing's not the answer. Saying there's not a problem is not the answer. So. We're going to try everything we can. These are stats that were just released to us from the Cochise County Sheriff's Department. And since Operation Safe Streets 2 began, they've had over a thousand traffic stops, nearly 20 arrests, and 58 human smuggling attempts. Reporting from Cochise County, Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.